you've grown significantly over the last um, 12, 18 months through a, a series of acquisitions. C can you just explain um, what, what appealed to you about the companies that you bought and how you actually managed the process of acquisitions? Because um, as you say, you know, it's, it's one thing buying a company, it's another thing actually integrating it and making it part of, of your company. I think you know, we've, we've been very fortunate that we have strong relationships with the manufacturers that we, we represent. Some of it has been design and some of it has been as a result of an acquisition that we've, uh, that we've made. Um, but generally, I think you know, we've uh, managed to um, grow our business uh, and, and even though it appears that we've been very, very busy over the last few years, it has been by you know, evolution rather than revolution. Um, you know, one thing is backed into, a, uh, into another thing. But in terms of targeting a business and looking at a business, we pick the brand number one and the geography number two. Um, it ought, both of them have to, uh, have to fit. And then we apply uh, a methodology that we've developed that we originally called the Dirty Dozen and has now become the Dirty 15, where there's 15 different criteria that we apply when, uh, against a business when we look to acquire it. And it has to fit those 15 uh, different points. Right. And um, are, are there any brands that you'd particularly like to have in the group that uh, you, you don't represent at the moment? Um, yeah, I mean, for sure. There's always uh, you know, the, the, the desirable one. Someone said to me recently, oh, why, you know, why don't you look at buying a Land Rover uh, business? And I think my glib answer to that was, that, well, I'd love to sell the rest of the group to fund it. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, for sure, we'd like to look at some specialist um, premium uh, marks. Uh, some of the German brands would be especially attractive to us. You know, we, last year uh, we entered the Volkswagen Group for the first time when we acquired a Skoda uh, dealership in the uh, in the northwest of England. Um, we're not in a hurry uh, to develop that uh, that relationship, but you know, for sure, you know, we've done it for a reason. You know, we don't uh, we've never adopted a scattergun approach. So if we've targeted a particular brand or a business, it's because we want to build scale with them. Um, but you know, to answer your question, Curtis, you know, I think it's uh, you know. It's not just looking outside of the brands that we uh, currently uh, represent. Actually, if we look at within those eight brands that we represent, you know, Toyota, I would love to have more Toyota businesses. You know, Toyota's a brand that I believe in. Um, you know, we've kind of almost hit a ceiling, really. You know, we represent probably about 10% of Toyota's UK market. So our ability to grow much further with them as a brand is going to become more, more difficult going forward. Uh, but you know, equally, you know, we represent both Korean brands. You know, Kia, especially as a brand which has really captured our uh, imagination. I mean, we'll open our second Kia centre uh, later this year. Okay. And are, are there any more acquisitions in the pipeline at the moment? I think we said we'd have a year off this year. Uh, <laughs> you know, we had we made a fairly substantial acquisition at the end of uh, 2015 when we bought the Toyota businesses that Benfield operated and uh, that Lucas had purchased. And you know they were expensive businesses in terms of the amount of um, funding that was required. So we said we'd have a year off and consolidate in 2016. But of course, this industry never ceases to uh, amaze us, and there is always somebody uh, knocking on your uh, knocking on your door. Um, I think you know if anyone was to come to us with an opportunity this year, I think we would be very cautious, and um, it would definitely have to be the right fit. Uh, for us to be able to stretch ourselves any further this year. You now we've always said that we'll only grow as quickly as number one, our finances will allow us to, and number two, and equally as important as our people uh, will allow us to. So you know we've kind of planned the acquisition that we made at the end of last year, and we don't really want to stretch our team any uh, any further than we need to. You know we want to be effective in what it is that we're doing at the moment. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. Excellent.